Here is a quick guide to your Voyager campervan. Most of your equipment can be found in the rear of your vehicle. On the right-hand side you will find the table and bench set, window blinds, side awning, poles as well as pegs and a water container. There are nine window blinds. Each one is custom made for a specific window. You may need to wet the suction cups to help them stick. The table and bench set can be used inside or outside. Make sure that the leg supports are locked in place before sitting on the bench. Next we're going to show you how to fit the side awning. You'll need the awning canvas, three poles and three pegs. Attach the awning using the clips mounted on the roof. If you find that there's too much slack or that the hole on the canvas will not reach the clip, you may have the awning on upside Extend the poles to the desired height and place the thin end through the hole in the awning. Then use the guy ropes and pegs to secure the awning. You may need to reposition the ropes and pegs to make the awning taut. We don't recommend using the awning in high winds or in extremely heavy rain. The left side compartment contains a cooking kit, two cookers and an emergency kit. A complimentary gas canister is provided for each cooker. When using the cooker please remember to take it out of the case and never use the cooker inside the vehicle. Remove the red cap and insert the gas canister into the compartment at the side. Now lock the canister in place using the lever on the front. You won't be able to lock the canister in place unless the main control is set to off. To light the cooker turn the dial all the way round until you hear a click. At the back of the left hand compartment is your power unit and mains hookup point. Your mains cable is normally located underneath the passenger seat. Plug one end into the vehicle and the other to the campsite hookup point. Make sure the large red switch is set to on. The mains plug sockets inside the vehicle will only work when the vehicle is hooked up to the mains. Your fridge can run from the mains power or from a leisure battery which is charged up whilst driving. To open the fridge lift the pin at the top. To turn on the fridge turn the dial inside the fridge clockwise. By pressing the power button on the panel next to the fridge you can check the levels of your batteries. Turning the control panel on will also allow you to turn on the interior light. The Voyager campervan has two double beds, to make up the upper bed just pull the red tabs on the back of each seat. You can then fold the seats down, next, extend the headrests and then place the white board on top of the seats. Note that the board only fits one way round, finally add the mattress section to complete the bed. The lower bed is made from the two remaining mattress sections which are placed on the floor. Please ensure the floor is wiped clean before putting the mattress down. Two sets of bedding are provided. The flat sheet should be used for the upper bed. The Voyager campervan takes diesel. To open the fuel cap you will need to open the passenger door first. The cap will open automatically when a nozzle is pushed into the hole. If you are on a longer trip then you will also need to top up your ad blue tank. This is a chemical used in new vehicles to reduce emissions in the ad blue tank needs to be filled up just like petrol. Only a small amount is needed and normally you will be able to drive over 3000 miles before running out. Ad blue is available from most service stations, your camper van must be returned with the same amount of ad blue. To open the bonnet you'll need the vehicle key, turn it to the right and then fully to the left. 
In the engine bay, you will find the fill-up points for the various consumable liquids. It is important to make regular maintenance checks during your hire. Especially if you are traveling for more than a few days, the oil level should be checked every seven days. The tools for the spare tire are located in a compartment underneath the driver's seat. If any warning lights appear on the dashboard, please pull over and give us a call. Our contact numbers are on your rental agreement. If you need to contact roadside assistance, you will find the numbers displayed in the driver's window. Remember that the roadside assistance can only help with breakdowns. It's always best to phone spaceships first. Before pulling away, make sure the handbrake is all the way down. The engine will not start unless the clutch pedal is fully depressed. The Voyager campervan has six forward gears. To use reverse pull the underside of the gear stick upwards. We strongly advise that for any reversing maneuver that somebody is outside the vehicle helping to assist. The headlight controls are located to the right of the steering wheel. In the cab there are two 12 volt power points. The vehicle's stereo system has an auxiliary cable so you can play your own tunes from your phone. Your camper van is 2.3 meters tall, it has a long wheelbase so it's really important to leave enough space when turning. You will need to use your mirrors much more than a standard sized car. In the UK the road signs are in miles per hour. For more information on driving in the UK, please see the highway code. If you have any questions please ask a member of staff when you collect the keys. Now it's time to get on the road and let the adventure begin.